Hello friends, today is 28th of January and this is a follow-up video to the one that I had done on 22nd when I had put in fresh bedding and food scraps for the worms and this is just to show you the migration pattern of the worms that I have observed in my worm bins and this is the left side where we had put in the bedding the cow manure and the food scraps and let's have a look at what's going on here my observation has always been that the adult worms migrate to the manure first and the younger ones take their time coming in but as you can see already there is a lot of worm worm population here and I did put in the coffee grounds later on when I got them and worms do love have a look at this wow look at the number of worms that are here already uh, this is day 5 I think yeah 22nd and this is the 6th day and look at this already we have so many worms here some of the food scraps yet have to start breaking down and the other side this is the side which are the castings and as you can see there are no worms here and I can just pick this up literally and put it away in the container where I want to store the castings I can actually pick all of these up right away this is how simple it is use the migration method and reduce the work of sorting through the castings and separating out the worms I've done videos on this even earlier and it is just fascinating and this is the worm bin at level 2 I've uh, put the first one on the floor there so that I can show you what's going on in the second worm bin I prepared both these worm bins on the 22nd so let's have a look here and see the worms here look at this all the worms are here isn't that wonderful wow this is just amazing look at this this worm bin will need a bit of water so I'll be doing that now this is just fantastic look at this this is the bucket in which I collect my castings and compost when it's ready to use in my garden and I'm just going to pick the castings and drop it in the bucket that's how easy it is there are no worms here just pick it up and keep dropping the castings in the bucket till maybe I'll come across some worms which are there at the lower level but otherwise harvesting the castings is as simple as this there are a few eggshells that I had added in later they have not broken down yet but that's okay because they will just go in my containers there's one worm here that I see but it's okay if it goes in the castings so you can see how simple it is to make your own castings for your garden very simple and easy I hope you enjoyed this little follow up on my previous video as well thanks a ton for watching happy gardening everyone